in studio is this year's Curry Cup winner and one of the stars of the Golden Lions' winning campaign, winger Kotnil Skosan. Kotnil, good morning and thank you for joining us here in yeah. Africa. Thank you for having me. Kotnil, unbeaten. Uh, the last time this happened was probably in the 60s. How honoured are you to be part of what is a golden time for the Golden Lions? <laughs> yeah, no, it's really a privilege to be a part of the Lions, first of all, you know, and to have a record like that during the season, I think it was an amazing achievement mm. for us. So, yeah, I'm happy to be part of it. Johan Ackerman, let's talk about him as a coach. Obviously, former Springbok, uh, he knows the brand of the Lions quite well, and everyone raves about the style of play. So, does he drill it into the training sessions that this is the way, you know, the Lions have to go out and play that brand of rugby? It reminds me so much of the way the All Blacks go ahead and play. Yeah, no, you know, it's, it's easy to fall into the game plan. I mean, you know, we, we're enjoying it. We're running with the ball in hand. That's what you want to see. You want to see rugby players running with the ball in hand. So, I mean, there's not a lot that he has to now go every session and say, yes, I want this, this yes. way, that way, that way. We have, we have freedom on the field. We have a structure. But within that structure, there's a lot of freedom and you can play, you know, to your strengths. Mm -hmm. And that's how he selects his team as well so it makes it easier for the guys to perform out there you know let's talk about the season obviously unbeaten as i said but how how was it i mean at the start of the season what was Johan's plan was it to go ahead and steamroll all the teams because when i look at the results my word it, it is something special yeah no definitely i mean we have a game by game process mm. you know so every week we take it week by week so obviously week one would have been different than mm. week 12 you know but it, it's been amazing it's been an amazing journey so week one we just started mm. and said listen every single game we just have to come out and be our best and yeah the results so no, obviously you guys lost the final last year, it hurt a lot, mm. but playing this time in your own backyard at Ellis Park, one of the most iconic stadiums in world rugby, yes. must have given you guys uh, that confidence, but there were times in the match where it seemed mm. the Western Province were crawling back. Yeah. Then what do you think happened in terms of character which showed that you guys could be separated from the rest and manage to hold on for that victory? Yeah, you know, it's always amazing playing at Alice Park, you know, Emirates Airline Park, you know, it's always good to have the fans there cheering you on, you know, we've got loyal supporters, you know, they're always there backing us. So I think you just get a new energy when you go out on that yes. field, you're just an, another player, you feel superhuman, mm. you know, so that was amazing for us, you know, to play there. And I think the character's always been there. I think obviously we had a few fine tweaks that we had to tweak, you know, uh, learning a lot from last season and then that, that pulled us through. Kaito, let's talk about yourself. Uh, seven tries mm. during the competition. I, I guess you, you seem like the type of player who puts uh, teamwork ahead of, you know, individual yeah. success. Were you happy with yourself from a personal point of view? Yeah, no, definitely. You know, it's amazing to be a part mm. of this team. You know, it makes it easy for me to, to perform and do my job, you know. So it's, it's been amazing for me to score a few tries mm. this season. But like you said, I am a team player, so I always put the team in front, you know. And, then, and it's been amazing that the guys created the opportunities for me to score those tries. You know, a lot of people talk to me and say the Lions don't have, how would I say, superstars, you know, guys with egos. Mm. And when I talk to you, and it's not because, of, yeah, but you seem the type of guy who's really, you know, wants the team over individualism first. Mm. You have the likes of Yaku Creel. I mean, Warren Whiteley was the captain. Yaku Creel back there. Was there any change in terms of the captaincy? And let's talk about the back line. You have the likes of Harold Foster, Howard Mnisi. How good is it to play with guys like that who are still relatively young in terms of, you know, playing in this competition and also in the Super Rugby. That's the amazing thing about this team, you know, they're so humble, mm. everyone's willing to work, you know, we are, we are a bond of brothers and we work so hard mm. for each other, we will always keep on fighting, that's one thing you can never, you know, you'll never doubt that of the Lions, we'll always keep on fighting and that's the amazing thing, you know, young guys that are hungry, they want to play, you know, they've got a point to prove, you know, so that's the amazing thing about being part of this, this team and this journey, we are family and we all know where we're going and we're just working towards getting those, those goals. Let's talk about uh, the coach, uh, Johan. I, I, I know that he's uh, right now one of the best coaches in the country. Heading into Super Rugby, I know this is going to be a key phase for you guys, mm. but what are the aims in terms of Super Rugby? I know last year you guys won uh, three games away, probably the best record uh, the Golden Lions have had in a very long time. Mm. What are the ambitions for the Pride of Josie come that big competition next year? Yeah, no, you know, it's always difficult to say what your goals are. Yeah. We haven't had our planning camp yet, but, you know, I think the goal now would just be to get through the, through the mm. preseason, make sure that we're in tip-top shape come season time, you know, and then take it game by game as we do every season. So we'll get to the first game of the season and we'll have a goal for that game and we'll go on and hopefully we can make our, our, our fans proud, you know, and make sure that we get a good result. I'm going to stay on Johan. There's been a lot of talk that uh, it could be touted as the new Springbok coach. Surely you guys don't want to let him go because he seems, you know, when I attend the training sessions, a type of person that keeps you guys as a close 
tight-knit unit. Yeah, no, you know, the one thing I can say about Coach Johan, you know, he's a family man, you mm. know, he knows how to manage players, you know, and it, he builds personal relationships with the guys, and that's the amazing thing. That's what I'm saying. The Lions, we, we, we're a big family, you know, mm. so obviously it'll be sad for us if that happens, but I mean, it's always good if, if we get promotion in life, you know, if I become a Springbok, if someone else becomes mm. a Springbok, we're always happy. We're always happy to see someone yeah. prosper in life. So if that happens, I'm going to be happy for him, and I'm sure the team will be happy, but obviously we would love for him to stay there and be with us. Coach, well, I mean, this is probably what we saw in the last World Cup, the final one, probably for Brian Abana, JP Peters, and surely you're looking to wear that green and gold. I know it's going to be an absolute <laughs> pleasure. Come to the year 2016, is that one of your aims, to work hard? And obviously the Super Rugby is going to be key in making sure, you know, you probably get that uh, Springbok jersey. Yeah, no, the most important goal for me now is to get through the preseason, mm. make sure that I play the first game. But that's always been a dream for, of mm. mine, you know, to pull that green and gold over my head. I've done it once on the mm. under 20 levels and it's, mm. I can't explain the feeling. It's really an amazing feeling mm. to know that you, you're carrying mm. your whole country, you know, on, 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 your, on your body. So, you know, that's, uh, that'll be amazing mm. for me. But I wouldn't say it's one of my goals. Mm. If it happens, it happens. It's all in God's hands. Let's talk about youngsters. I mean, I want to talk Andre Pollard, uh, the likes of Jesse Grill, Damien Allen. They are really showing real potential, aren't they? And I mean, those are the youngsters that could carry the Springboks for the next, you know, five to ten years. Yeah, no, definitely I agree. You know, Damien has been playing amazing mm. rugby this year, even last year as well, you know, and Andre as well. They, they're really good players. And I'm sure that now Andre being, um, you know, nominated as one of the captains at the Bulls as well, he'll step into a leadership role and all of that. So I think that'll contribute to the fact that he's going to play a big role in the Springbok team as well.